Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Reverend Sylvester Hampton once again, one man of God unfiltered. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's lesson is going to be The Games Satan Plays. It's entitled The Games Satan Plays. It's, it's, I got the title from the song by the Spinners, The Games People Play. Um, I was sitting in bed. Um, listening to music today, I, I listen to Pandora every now and then, and and the um, the song, the games people play came on. I, I want you to listen to it. Ask Google to play the games people play, or or Pandora if you have Pandora. Play that song, and um, it, it will open up your eyes, and it will give you the mindset that I was in when when I, I heard the song. The song's about a man that was, um, um, he was going through a thing where up is down and down is up and he was looking for, um, he was going on his way home and and when he, he felt so all alone, um, he was trying to find refuge, a place to rest and, and he felt all alone and and he couldn't find any rest. Um, everything, everywhere he went, um, he was confused because uh, um, there was no no way home. He couldn't find a home. He, he couldn't find any relaxation. He was working all day. When he came back home, there was no refuge. He he, he, he was always on edge, and that's the way the song was. And and it reminded me how we were as men. Um, and, and the Holy Spirit took me into a different direction and, and, and said that, um, and, and got me to thinking that that's the way we are as men. And, and the Holy Spirit says that, um, because God made us in his image, God made us to love the way he loves. We love unconditional when God wants us to find a wife, we find a good thing. And he took us to, he took me to understand that the reason why God wants us to find a wife out of the hands of a man, a man of God, it goes from, from the one covering of her father to your covering, is because the woman that, we get from the father is a wife because the, the daughter of the father is taught how to be a wife. She understands a covering. So when she marries you, she understands that the benefit of, of being a helper and she understands that she is to be submissive to the mission that God gave you. To do in this world. So she is going to be submissive to you and she is going to be your helper. She understands that when you go out there and you are conquering the world, when you come home, she is your, she is to assist you in building yourself up to go out there again, to ref, to, to go out and conquer the world. She is an asset to you. And she knows that when you come home, you're coming to rule. And in your castle, she is to give you that rest and building you up so that you can do that thing over again. She understands that when you are the head, as you are the head of household, you are the Lord of your house and the children that she bears. And she understands that she belongs to you. Because she bears your last name. She don't have to be taught that. Because she lived that with her daddy. That's the reason why it's so important for you. As the, the head of household. As, as the, the potential looking for a wife. You look for a wife from the hands of someone that is covering her. As a daughter to get from from from. Uh, one covering to your covering. You don't go to an uncovered woman because an uncovered woman is not prepared to to be a wife because you're giving her the same kind of love that God gave 
the world. He gave his unconditional love. We have the attributes of love. We have the attributes of God. We were made in his image. And because we have his, his attributes, we love unconditional just like God loves unconditional. That's the reason why when we, uh, we're confronted to what this thing called divorce, it, it comes un, unexpected to us. We never, we, we never expected that. Um, that's the reason why God hates divorce because it's a destroying thing and, and, and it's never supposed to be. God never intended for a divorce to happen. There's no such thing as divorce in a holy matrimony. Um, and, and the reason why men get uh, taken advantage of so much is because the kind of love that we are instinctively supposed to give is the same kind of love that God gives gave to us. He breathed his attributes of love in us. And the only problem that we face is that we are going to find a wife in the far land. We're trying to find a wife in the far land in the world. Worldly women. You can't make a worldly woman into a wife because she was she grew up in in a world that knows nothing about a wife. How in the world can she she learn how to know about being a wife if she has no tools of being a wife was all about? Do you understand? So that's the problem that we have. That's the reason why we're having so many problems that we're facing with as the man of God. We men of God are, are, are uh, made and, and we have been made in the image of God because we have the attributes of God. And some of our attributes are that we love like God. And when we love like God, we love unconditional, just like God. He, God so loved the world, he, loved, he gave his only begotten son. It was not, it was an unconditional love. So that's the same kind of love that our holy matrimony, we're supposed to go into holy matrimony about. So when we find a wife, we find a good thing. The only problem that we're facing is that we find a wife in the world. That's the reason why, and we, when we find a wife in the world, she comes to the um, a holy matrimony, she comes with a marital mentality. That's the problem that we have, and a marital mentality is a business arrangement because she has been touched by Satan, the enemy. In her mindset, she's been touched by Satan and her, because the woman is the, 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 is the, the tool that Satan used as a foothold into the world. And, 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 and he uses her because she was not, and she's an easy target because she uses emotion. She got it by emotion. She is basically a blank slate. God made her a blank slate because she's not, she is supposed to be a help meet to the man. The man is supposed to paint her the way he wants her. He tailor made the woman for his for him. He wouldn't have to worry about tailor making the woman if he is getting her from a covering of her God God man of God father. Because the man of God, Father, has made her a wife, wife material. So when you go get his tailor-made daughter for a wife, she already knows what a wife is supposed to be. You're never supposed to go marry anybody that is uncovered by a man of God. That's the problem that we're faced with. That's the problem that we're having because you're giving unconditional love to a heathenous woman that is that is an individual, a woman that is that thinks that she hears that she's coming to a a, a she's feminist and she's touched by Satan. 
and she comes to a, a, a marriage that is a marriage because she thinks that she's equal to you. That's not an, uh, that's not a wife material. That's the problem that we're having nowadays. Or a woman that has been raised by another a mama. Okay. We have problems with women that are raising children, sons and daughters, that have not a clue of how what a a a, a, a house headed by a man looks like. So a boy's growing up in a household that's dominated by a woman. So he's unequipped, ill-equipped on uh, how to guide a, be a head of household himself. Because he has been guided and saw a head of household by a woman, he thinks that's how it's supposed to go. So he goes and find a wife that is domineering. Because he knows nothing else. He's doing the best he knows how and how he was taught. So it, it's repetitive going on and on and on. And that's the problem that we're facing. That's the reason why we're having the problems that we have. Now, all of a sudden, you have someone like Reverend Sylvester Hampton comes along and tells you just the opposite. Remember, the games we play, the game Satan plays is... What's up is, what's down is up and what's up is down. What's good is bad and what's bad is good. He does everything just the opposite. He's taught you just the opposite. Everything's backwards and forward and back, forward is backwards. Just the opposite of everything. He turns everything upside down. That's his mission. So all of a sudden, this man is coming along trying to teach you what is what God is has been said was his right, the one truth, God's truth, because Satan's telling you that both truths is your truth and my truth, and everybody has a truth. It's the same. That's wrong. It's only one truth, and that's God's truth. Okay? And, and, and when someone's trying to teach you that, it sounds foreign to you. That's the problem that we're having. And that's the problem that, that, that that's the reason why I'm, I, I get the, the title as being unfiltered. Be, being unfiltered means that my, 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 I'm not going through being politically correct. Politically correctness means that I'm going through the filter of the world. I'm not supposed to say what I'm saying because I'm not worldly correct. I have to go through what I say to be palatable to the world. I'm not. I am not one of those preachers that are going to be a a a uh, a dumb dog. A dumb dog is a dog that don't bark. I'm not a dumb dog. I am a dog, a watchdog for the Lord. And I'm going to point you to the Lord. One truth, God's truth, period. That's the reason why I talk to the men of God, period. Because only through the men of God will we change this world. Because God left the world with the men of God. His control. But what's happening is that you don't know how much power you truly have because your power has been has been kept from you. If you don't know how much power you have, you don't know that you have true power. You have been tied um, down so long that that even uh, just it's just like the elephant um, at a circus. A little, you go to the elephant in the circus, and a little small peg is keeping him in place because he's been taught that um, he's been whipped into place. And a little small peg, he thinks that that small peg, he can't override that small peg, and that's how we are. The small small peg with that big old elephant, the most powerful el um, powerful mammal in the world. Uh, you you mean to tell me that that small little small peg in the ground? Uh, is keeping you from moving 
That's what's happening with men of God. We think, or the men, we're thinking that we can't, we, we, we're, we're in place and we can't go any further. And, and we are stuck where we are. We have to be fed um, um, a, on a diet of, of, um, of wrong. We're, we're feeding, we're being fed on a wrong diet. We're not fed from the diet of God. We need to eat healthy. And healthy is through God's diet. They don't want you to feed on God's word. Amen. And, and that's the problem that we're facing right now. That's the game that Satan plays. Up is good and good, bad is good. Bad is good. Up, good is bad. Everything's up is down and down is good. The down is up and that as up is down. Everything is opposite. That's the game that Satan plays. And he keeping you off balance because you can't find a refuge. You can't find rest. You find rest in the word of God. You find refuge in God. So you can build yourself up. He don't want you to build yourself up in the Lord. He don't. Because once you build yourself up in the Lord and be um, take me uh, and find yourself in the Lord, you will start eating healthy food. And that's where you find your strength at. You'll look around and, and, and you'll see that where you, the company you keep was bad company. That's just like we have been doped up and we've been fed a bunch of drugs. A, you, you have been raised by a crackhead mama. A crackhead mama is somebody that's going to be keeping you um, doped up. That's what we have. And so a crackhead mama can't raise half, uh, uh, healthy children. You have been raised in the projects. And because you've been raised in the projects with a project minded mama, a worldly mama, you, you can't get, you, you don't know no, nothing else. So you grow up with a project mentality. A crackhead mama. So when someone comes along and says, to, oh, you were raised with a crackhead mama, you're defending towards that. You think that person that says, oh, you have a crackhead mama, you, you, you're ready to fight against that person. And you're going to end up in jail because you have been, as a man, you've been raised with a, 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 a feminine quality about yourself and you've been having you've been raised as an emotional man so when someone steps on your brand new tennis shoes michael jordan tennis shoes you're ready to fight him you're going to take his life away because he disrespected you by stepping on your tennis shoes so you go to jail or you're in the company of somebody that's going to rob somebody because you don't know how about getting a job and earning it on legitimately. So you always trying to get something that's shortcut. You don't know about working and um, and working it legitimately. You don't know anything about that because you never had a man in your life to show you what true work is all about and how to earn for a family you don't know anything about that because you never saw him because your mama was a baby mama and stole you away from your father so you were raised by a by a crackhead mama or a mama that wasn't supposed to have you in the first place that didn't belong to her. And so you were just raised by a mama who was domineering. That's all you saw. So I do know that a lot of my what my content was is 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 going to be. It seems like it's repeating the same thing over and over again. But that's the way Jesus does he says things over and over again 
because it's very important. He says things over and over again, meaning the same way, because if you got it one way, you may not, if you got it one way, you may not have gotten it uh, uh, a different way if he puts it a different way. He teaches in parables. If you, if I taught one way last week, and you didn't quite get it. Maybe if I teach it this way, you will get it this way. That's all the Bible is. It's, it's the same message over and over again. That's the reason why I say the blueprint of God. Over and over again. So that maybe this message that I'm talking to you. Or this example. It hit you and said, bing. That makes sense. Because what he's teaching me is that's the life that I'm living. That's the reason why I keep I keep running in this, and, and marrying the same person over and over again. Because I'm looking in the same I'm I'm picking from the same field. That's the reason why I'm married two or three times. And and the the, the wife that I married keep leaving me. It's not me that's wrong, it's her. No, it's you who keep picking from the same field. And your nature is of God. You're living, you're marrying unconditional with an unconditional attitude because God created man that way. You have to understand your father, your heavenly father. We were created in his image. And because we're created in his image, you got to understand why you do the things that you do. Why you love the way you love. Because you love the way you love is not because you're crazy. It's because that's the way God made you. We're in his image. He loves unconditional. He don't come um, loving with, with, an, with a motive. So because we love that way, we have to make sure that we, we are in an, a, a zone picking from a crop of people that is going to appreciate the kind of love that we give. That are not going to take advantage of us. We have to go with a person and you start out in holy matrimony with somebody that's coming to a football game with football rules. Then you will truly find happiness and when you go home, you, your home is a refuge of peace. That's all you want. A refuge of peace. You don't want to get into a marriage of a partnership and, and a conditional love. You don't want to marry somebody that is an individual. Somebody that's looking out for just themselves. Someone that is that is going to marry you um, as long and stay with you as long as they're getting the benefit out of it. And going to be able to abandon you. You don't want to marry somebody that her money is her money and your money is, is, is their money too. You don't want to marry somebody like that. And that's what we're doing. We're thinking the man is going to, um, to a, a marriage with the attitude and, the, and the, the kind of love that God has bestowed upon them. An unconditional love. Whereas the woman is going to a marriage with what she can get out of it. That's a conditional love. Because Satan has a foothold in her mind. And Satan uses the female, our helper, as his foothold to try to continue to try to destroy the kingdom of God. And he destroys the kingdom of God by destroying the legacy of God through the man passing the legacy through his children. His children. 
It's just a simple thing. It's just a simple thing. If Satan can get the woman to believe that those children belong to her and you as the man of God think that those children belong to her, he got you where he wants you. And he can, he can produce a lot of women that think that they can do a better job than you and they are truly the leaders, that they can lead a man. That is that they, he's got you where he wants you. And he uses that as a barometer to make sure that the world is continue to be where he wants them to be. That reminds me of my that book that I that I wrote called The Revelation of the Wiz. The Revelation of the Wiz. And and it, it, it has to do with uh uh how Satan is 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 using the world as it is. The Revelation of the Wiz is is a book that I wrote and and uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can write me, and and I can provide you with a copy of of the Revelation of the Wiz. And um, just text me and and or email me, and and I can get it to you. Um, or you can go on Amazon, put in Sylvester Hampton, and and my books will pop up. The Revelation of the Wiz is is a book that talks about. Um, looking at the whiz from a spiritual perspective, and it's it's an it's an illuminating and it's an eye opening type of thing, and it talks about how the world is and how we are and how we got the way we are. Very good, very good. The Holy Spirit. It's been written by the Holy Spirit. He uses me as a tool to write the book. Surely it didn't come from me. It's not my idea, it was his. Believe me, I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart. It was totally the Holy Spirit. The revelation, revolution, I mean the revelation of the whiz. Okay. Um, um, it's, 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 it's magnificent. It, it, you really need to get it. Um, but, the games people, the game Satan plays is is something that we're going through right now. Um, uh, it, I told you that, like I said, the the tools that Satan uses is the is the, his weapons of mass destruction is the TV, the telephone, and feminism. Um, whenever a ch the children are raised by a woman. Um, She's departing messages and, and raising the children in, an, in, in a zone that they're not supposed to be in. They have been, they are robbed of what a true man looks like. And when they're robbed of what a true man looks like, they grow up to, to, uh, uh, to adulthood in a wrong manner. Especially the boys grow up. Um, looking for a domineering female to dominate them so that they grow up to be simps and they grow up to be beta men and they are dominated by a woman and so when and so the the, the um, it's repetitive over and over again and the legacy that they pass down to their children is the same legacy that they are they passing down beta men so their sons grow up to look for a woman to dominate them. Those their sons grow up to, to look for to worship women. And they think that they're not they're incomplete without the woman. Which is just the opposite of what God intended. God made his he gave man dominion. Amen. And that's the problem that we're facing. And, 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 um, but with, and, and you're not, you're better than just an ATM machine. You, you, you don't feel, you think that the woman is the, the, uh, is the legacy 
and you feel that the woman, if you without the woman that's the boss of of a of your household, then then you don't you don't you don't think that you're worthy. But it's just the opposite. I told you that Satan turns everything upside down. And that's how he controls this. And that's how he, he makes it. Satan wants, loves divorce because then his toxic woman has a, a, uh, a chance to destroy more than one man. And, and has a toxic way of destroying more than one man and, and spreading his chaos, her chaos all around. Amen. Because if it was holy matrimony, she would have to stay with that man and die out. That's the reason why God hates divorce. Because it moves too slow. Divorce, I mean, holy matrimony moves too slow. So when Satan wants to destroy the, the legacy of God, he has to have divorce so that his toxic, um, toxicity has to be able to spread out faster and more. That's the reason why. So she can, she can destroy two or three different men um, through a, a, a period of time. Amen. The Bible says that we should not lean on our own understanding. And you know something? It all started with the, this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We were never supposed to know about the knowledge of good and evil because once we knew of that we were naked, that was the problem. We were supposed to always fit. We were supposed to be um, protected by God the whole time. We were never supposed to, we were supposed to walk around this world um, protected by God. We weren't supposed to know that we were naked. We were supposed to walk just like a child walking around, don't even know that they're naked. Little kids are walking around naked amongst one another. They didn't know they were naked. They're innocent. That's how we were supposed to be. That's how we're supposed to be. We weren't supposed to have the knowledge of good and evil. Now that we have the knowledge of good and evil, Satan, and, and he uses the, the, the tool that God gave us, his, the helper, as his tool to destroy us. Because he can't come to the man. He uses the, our helper to get to us as men because uh, uh, to, 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 to cause chaos through her. Because he's got her attention. That's the reason why you were never supposed to marry someone that's not covered by her father. That's the reason why a, a woman that, that raises children on her own is, is raising chaotic children. Chaotic. You don't have the tools to raise a whole child. You don't. That's not a slight against you. It's just that that's the way it is. You just don't have it. You don't know anything about legacy. You can't pass legacy. The only thing you can pass is chaos. And Satan loves it. Satan's ultimate secret weapon is the use of our helper to perpetuate his chaos on this world. Because that's how he used, he he controls this world through her. But the disconnect is when she's covered by her God 
a man of God father. She's protected by a covering of God's the way God is intended. She can't he can't touch her as long as he she's covered by the man of God. That's who you're supposed to find where you find your wife from. God gives us the best of his love. God don't know how not to give us the best. He intended for us to have the best. He loves us and he intended for us to have the best of his love. And you can and and that's how he 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 is. Because he gives his love unconditional even regardless of whether we deserve it or not. He loves us unconditional. And the same kind of love that we go and we find a wife, we find a wife unconditional. And we love her unconditional. That's the reason why when we find a wife, we find a good thing. God don't want you to find a wife in a far land, far country. That's not where we find a wife from. When you find a wife from the far country, you're finding an individual, you're finding an educated woman that don't know how to be a wife. You find a wife from the hands of her God, a man of God father. That had been that knows what a man of God looks like. God wants to give you everything. God is everything, and everything is God. Remember that. God wants to give you everything, and everything is God. God is good. God is good. And he loves you. And he wants to give you everything. Remember that. He wants to give you the best. If you get that through your mind, go with his blueprint. It's only one truth, and that's God's truth. Go with his blueprint. And you will see and say, why in the world? Did it take me so long to arrive? And for the very first time, you will find refuge. Refuge in his word. That's what this whole thing is about. And get your children back to where they're supposed to be. Right now, normal is chaotic. It's chaos. To them, Normal is chaos. It's not supposed to be that way. Man of God, you're the only one that can bring the world back to back to the way it's supposed to be. You got it. We're going to win. We are winning. Right now, that's when we're waking up. We're going through the great awakening right now. The great awakening is the awakening to the fact that you are the prize. That you are waking up to the fact that you are the prize and that people, women from all over the world wants you as a man of God. Wants you. From all over the world. But what you have been. Is that you have been captive. In a household. In a house. And you're thinking that. You can't go outside that house. And you're thinking that. The only choices that you can make. Is in that house. 
Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Get out the front door. You got a key. You can get out that front door and find out that there's a whole world out there that thinks you are something. God has given you the world. The man of God, you control the world through God. You're something else. The world is your footstool. As long as you follow God, God will be your guiding light. Amen. Amen. Remember that. Remember that. Uh, I want to let you know that it's been a pleasure me being here with you. I thank the Holy Spirit for giving me the word to give to you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Believe me, everything that, that, that is not coming from me is coming from the Holy Spirit. And because I'm not that smart, I am just a tarnished, not worthy vessel carrying a holy word. So don't look at this tarnished vessel. Look at the word that the Holy Spirit got me to give to you because the word is holy. Amen. Um, I, I love you. Nothing you can do about it. I'm continuing staying on the battlefield of, of, of fighting this war, fighting for the souls of our family. And I need your help. I need your help in thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and, and the notification bell and also passing this, um, sharing the channel with somebody else. Amen. I need to get our numbers up. So share the channel so that we, we will um, find other men of, of God because we all need to, to get together and, and find out that we all that, that God wants us to be. Amen. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Until the next time, this is Reverend Sylvester Hampton, one man of God unfiltered. Bye-bye.